Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Atlanta Falcons. With that, let's get up to Atlanta. We're standing by at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with the New England Patriots. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? Brady now on first down. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. The former star in nearby Georgia, this is Sony Michelle. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down, here's Brady. Flushed up, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there on third down for the Pats. 47 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Now Brady throwing on second down. Got a man complete. It's Chris Hogan. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Throwing is Brady on third down. Eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Tom Brady flashing the mobility, scrambling there for a first down. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it, and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that play's over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing the 4 for 4 on the opening drive. And he's home for the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Sony Michelle taking it in. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Goskowski the extra point. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts a defense psychologically okay. a heck of a lot more. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Like a jump it's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. 
they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the play. I know that's their first connection in this game, but you and I both know that Julio Jones is without a doubt his quarterback's favorite target. Oh, yeah, man. Ryan loves this game. Who wouldn't? Yeah, and the reason that he's that I is because of his dependability. And, and quarterbacks have to have that from their receivers, meaning they know where they're going to be when they're running certain routes. They don't break them on them. They don't change them up and do their own freelance stuff and put their quarterbacks in bad situations. Matt Ryan has ultimate trust in Julio Jones. This will be caught inside the 10. Seriously, he's high staff the ball. I'll the push the one button. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, he did everything but get him in the I end zone there. Go and now the, they're set up goal at the match, but... Strong opening drive, and they're oh, not yeah, going to go. Yeah, yeah, that would be easy to touch Now, look where they are on the field, all right? This, and this is caught for yeah. a fucking touchdown. Calvin Ridley, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the right, highest high you can get. It. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Pitch. And it'll Dang wind up it. about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 21. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Brady to throw on second down. Flush to his right. And right side caught Hogan. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And they've got it here with a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On first down, Brady. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Edelman there, and that'll bring up second down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Letting one go deep here for Gronk. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Brady. And now another one thrown incomplete. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchdown. Start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. They find some open field here. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. But they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, it created a big run. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one goes for 36 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They go play action here on first down. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. They it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. 
They'll run here with Freeman. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. False start. Offense. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. They run the play fake to Coleman. Now Ryan. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's yeah, incomplete. Thank you. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there. And it's third down. Now we've got third and goal coming up. And couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 at the 19. Dante Hightower in there to drop him for a six-yard loss. And that'll lead to a fourth down. And that's the kind of stand all defenses are seeking. Third and goal, backs against the wall, and they get a monster sack, and now they're going to force him into a field goal. For them, that's a win. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays, and when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the tread expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Escaping the pressure right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. New England on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Here's Brady to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Solid coverage on the play by Devondre Campbell. There was no secret who they were trying to get the football to. Well, no, they went to him on first down, second down, third down, all three incomplete. Yeah. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. Guys, I got the screen on. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out.